Well, what did Jon Snow say? I don't think he likes us much. Definitely doesn't like you, Finn. He wants to see us work together. No more problems. That's on you. Point is, he doesn't want any problems with either of you on this Craster's mission. Well, there's something you should know, then. <laughs> I, uh... God damn it. Borrow this from you. <laughs> what? I just got curious. I wanted to know why your uncle was here. It never ends with you. Well, I didn't mean no harm, honest. I just wanted a quick look. It wasn't stealing. You can't keep doing that, Cotter. Next time, ask. I did try. And you said he was just visiting. But I think there's more to it than that, isn't there? There is, but... Uh. I noticed this part here. North Grove. That's just some shit story for little kids. A rumour. No, it's not. Of course it is. I had it a witch's den where they turned children into giants. Garrett, you don't actually take it seriously, do you? It's a fairy tale. For idiots. Everyone knows that. Lord Forrester knew all about it. It's a fortress. Hidden from the world. And this says it's somewhere in the north. On the other side of the wall. And here I thought you might have some brains, Garrett. You two deserve each other. Have fun chasing your tails. Good. Didn't need him anyway. What do you mean? He doesn't know about the mammoths. Or white walkers. Or how to sneak past a giant. What, and you do? But you know, it's the things you hear about. The rumors is all. Something. I wouldn't know myself. <laughs> rumors my ass. You're hiding something, Cotter. I'm not. They're just things I hear around Castle Blacksall. People talk, you know. It's looking very shifty. Not about the North Grove they don't. You do? Probably heard you talking about it. Or, or maybe one of the recruits. Don't make me regret lying about the knife for you, Cotter. Tell me what you know. All right. Right. I've been on the other side of the wall, got it. You see, I, I live there. In the it's north. A I'm part of the three folk. People round here call wildlings. I know, I know it's crazy. I, I was with some other free folk. We were looking for weapons, south of the wall. We got caught, so I passed myself off as a local, and, well, well, they sentenced me here to Castle Black for steel. I shouldn't be here. This isn't my place. I didn't know what else to do. Potter, you're the bloody enemy. How am I supposed to trust you now? I'm not your enemy, Garrett. I... I'm your friend. Or at least I thought I was. Are we... Are we still friends? Of course. I mean, I know it's a lot to take in. Don't worry. Bloodthirsty wildling or not, <laughs> we're still brothers. That is good to hear. <laughs> at least when Mance Raider wants to boil you alive, you'll know someone in high places. Cut her! What did I say? That shit house you fixed is still leaking! I'll be right there. I'm going no. back home, no matter what, Garrett. I've heard stories, old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. You know where the North Grove is? No, but I'll help you find it. I'm deserting anyway, heading back home. I can I guide you, desert. keep you alive. Stick with me I and don't... I'll show you the way. Plenty of things out there want to kill you. Others want to eat you. Well, if you change your mind, let me know. North of the Wall's a different world. One wrong step and it will swallow you whole. Cut her! Now! Uh, on the way! Please, don't tell anyone about me. 
They'll watch and it's kill me if they found out. Wow. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Um, I don't want to desert the Night's Watch. I took the vow. Oh. Shit, this has been dragons. Marine still smells like shit, even outside the walls. We'll find Croft here, somewhere. Yeah. <sighs> you alright? <sighs> Never better. <laughs> Back under the Mad King, they used to say, death by sword was a sweet kiss. <laughs> but fire would fuck you hard. Funny. No. No, not very. I'll go find Croft's tent. Asher... I need you to tell me the truth. I've come a long way to bring you home. Back in that cave, you made a choice. You must have thought no. only one of us was going to survive. Now, it's not a fair question to ask. I thought beside you, Uncle, too many times to count. I figured you could handle yourself. Beska was the one face to face with a dragon. I appreciate the respect, but it's not about that. Look. I can't blame you if your feelings about me are conflicted. Or your feelings about going home. Your family exiled you to this place. But I swore an oath to your mother. Sailed halfway around the world to bring you back safe. And I'll be damned if some dragon fire or your foul decisions are going to stop me. Stop watching clear? me. I'm here to help you. Well, come on, Malcolm. Why are you making this such a big thing? We're defined by the choices we make, Asher. One day, we'll understand that. Asher, I know where Croft is. This Croft, how well do you know him? Too, Too well. well. I thought you said you were friends. Yeah, we are. We are. Great. So convincing. Mr. Fucking Forrester, son of a poxy whore. You have some balls walking into my tent after all these years with that mama's monkey grin on your face. I probably deserved that. Well, that went well. All right, maybe I deserve that. That's not even a taste of what you deserve. You never understood consequences, Asha. One stupid mistake cost me an eye. But you never learn. You figured you'd steal from me and I'd just forgive you? <laughs> Not a fucking chance! So how are you going to pay me back? Your eye? Your hand? Or how about your tongue? Cough, no! Be reasonable! I am reasonable! I'm letting him fucking choose! Look, Croft, what we did was wrong. I'm sorry for that. You heard him, now let him go! You're not getting out of this with a fucking apology. Croft, I deserve your anger as much as Asher. Don't worry, Beska. You're next. Now choose. Uh... Or I slice off your balls, Asher. Uh... Hey, a hey, man hey! Betrays my uh... trust. I... There's a price for Let him go! Enough! No more fucking about! You fucking bastard. Take my eye then. I don't need two to kill you. Done. <laughs> Oh, that was bloody beautiful. Fucking Asher. You were pale as a oh. snow bear's ass. Oh. <laughs> are, you, are you fucking joking? You bloody bastard. <laughs> this is why people steal your shit and take off in the night. Come on, that you was assholes. unexpected. Have a drink. <laughs> Joden, the Khaleesi's best wine. Your friend has an interesting sense of humour. So what in seven hells are you two doing here on the arse end of the earth, eh? You're a long way from young guy. We have a proposition we need an army. for you. We? You're hardly the usual rabble these two travel with. We need an army, Croft. My home back in Westeros is under siege. We need your hellhounds. A hundred good men. Am I in a hobby's tip? Would I ever go back to Westeros? I've got it good right here. A grace pays good coin. We can pay. 
I always knew your pockets were lined with gold. And I will happily take it from you. But it's not up to me. The Second Sons are sworn to Daenerys Targaryen. I've laid my sword at her feet. Hmm. For now. Perhaps we could talk to her. She's a little busy right now, commanding a fucking siege. Her enemies are nailing children up on posts for a hundred miles. And a bloody dragon's gone missing. <laughs> but I know where to find a dragon. <laughs> Unfucking likely. You expect me to believe you just happened yep, to have seen much. the one fucking dragon loose in the world. Black scales all over with a red frill running down his back. That doesn't prove anything. Enough of this nonsense. I've got proof, you old fuck. Tell me what this is, if not a bloody dragon tooth. Uh, I wouldn't know a <laughs> dragon tooth from a basilisk dick. Croft, I've seen her dragon. <sighs> oh, bugger me with a bloody spear. If you're lying about this... Fair enough. Come on, you son of a bitch. The beast's name is Drogon. She'll want to hear about him right away. And don't think you're going to charm her with that fucking Asher grip. Okay, we, got, we get to talk to Daenerys. Holy shit. Okay, I'm excited. I'm very excited. We can let her find her precious Drogon. Oh, and we're back at the wall. Meanwhile, on the wall. Oh no, oh no, it's gonna. Okay, it's back on. Big day tomorrow, isn't it? Off to Craster's Keep. Assuming you're not too busy looking for your <laughs> North Grove. I thought you didn't believe in it. Not saying I do. But if it was real, can you trust Potter with it? You ask me. There's just something off about him. Aside from him being an oily thief, I mean. I'll keep an eye on him. Like he's holding something back. Wouldn't hurt to keep an eye on him. Don't need to tell me that. He steals my knife, then your stuff. I'm not sure I want him walking behind me while we're out there. Finn! Get back on watch until your relief arrives. They're late. You think Mance Raider is going to wait for them? Right. Asshole. And Tuttle, you've got torches that have gone out. Keep them lit. Let the wildlings know we're Light still all the home. torches. Solid ice. Yep. This won't be melting what, anytime soon. Over here? Let's look at the lift. It'll be here soon. I wonder who's That's riding it. This must hold up the lift. Who is it? You. Pig farmer. 300 mile wall, and you're still in my way. I figured we'd settle things on the way to Craster's, but this is even better. The wall's a dangerous place. I didn't mean it as a threat. People slip off all the time. Still have some fighting spirit left no. in you, huh? I did duty to my lord back on that bloody farm. And for doing a proper job of it, what I get? Banished to the fucking wall! Well, we're brothers now. Gotta deal with it. 